you've spent the time, energy, and money to get people onto your webinar, but they aren't staying to the pitch and they aren't converting. This video is gonna show you everything you need to know to get people to your pitch and to raise your conversion. One of the biggest things that people come to me for help with is getting people from the start of the webinar to the end of the webinar. If you put 100 people on the front end, you should have at least 60 or 70 of them on for the offer. Sadly, that's not the case with most webinars. We're gonna go into exactly how to fix that today. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button because you want every video that I make because it puts more money in your pocket. Okay, let's jump into it. When I first got started giving presentations, I put all this time and energy in and I was super, super stressed. I built a really complicated slide deck and I put everything that I could into it. I remember flying to give the presentation and I, I was working on the presentation the entire time on the plane. Time came and I stood up and I was nervous and I kind of stumbled over my words a little bit, but I did what I felt was an amazing presentation. I gave these people everything that they needed to solve their problem. The thing is, at the end of it, nobody bought. A few people came up, they patted me on the shoulder, but they didn't buy anything from me. And I could tell when I was giving the presentation, I was looking out over the audience and people were falling off. If this sounds familiar to you, if you are running your webinar and you've built it and you've done everything that the quote gurus tell you to do, you've used their templated deck, you've kind of practiced a little bit, you've used their framework, but people are not staying from the front to the end. If you're having people do that, they come in on the front end, but they're not staying till the end. You're missing stories and open loops and you're teaching too much. So how do you tell a great story that grabs people's attention and gets them to stay on. So a great webinar has more than 20 stories in it. I've analyzed more than 100 highly converting webinars, including the highest converting webinar of all time. That webinar actually had more than 50 stories in it. Now, you might be saying, well, that's a lot of stories. Well, here's the thing. Your core stories, there are five core stories in your webinar. That's gonna be your hero's journey story, which goes right at the front. Then you're going to have three stories for your main teaching points, that's four. And then you're going to have one story that goes with your main sale. That's at a minimum. On top of that, you're gonna have a lot of kind of like stories. So these help explain things in a way that make them easier to understand. If you go back to high school, the teachers that were probably really hard to pay attention to and that you tuned out, fell asleep, passed notes or ran out the back door, those teachers were speaking to you. And the minute you start teaching somebody something, our brain starts to shut down and starts to go slower, right? we start to put up a wall, our brain starts to process all of that. And the heavier, it's like a computer. The more processing power it takes, the slower it goes. Stories get through all of that. And that's why they are so important. So how do you tell a great story? Well, the first thing is you lead with the pain points. So your story should be about 50% pain. When you tell the pain points, it's going to draw people in because those pain points are the same pain points that they are having. And they're like, oh man, this person gets me. Next up, you're going to have the light bulb moment. This is just a little sliver. And here's the secret with webinars. That light bulb moment should hook somewhere in your stack, somewhere in what you're selling. This is how you create the open loop that is closed by people buying from you. Lastly, you paint the exciting tomorrow and the exciting tomorrow should line up with the hopes and dreams of the people who are watching your webinar. Now, if you do this with each story, you're going to have created at least four open loops out here in the beginning that go somewhere in your stack, plus all the supporting stories, those little light bulb moments also hook somewhere in here because this, what you're selling, gets them the outcome that they want. I hope that makes sense to you. So your hero's journey story is probably your biggest story because it relates to your entire webinar. Whatever you are selling to them, your hero's journey story should be the big overall story. Each teaching point should be a small piece of that story. So those are your four main stories. Then you go back to what you're selling on the webinar, the main sales piece over here, right? That main sales piece is a recap of all of those stories put together with a little bit of added spice, a little bit of added zip, some secrets that they didn't know about. 
by creating these open loops out here, you're drawing people to the end because they're leaning forward on the edge of their seats and they can't help themselves. The second thing that happens is by creating those open loops, people want to stay on because they want you to close those loops. That is natural human tendency. This was really difficult for me when I started because I naturally want to solve problems. I want to close loops. So I would do it for everybody. But the thing is, you want to create open loops that draw people to the end. If you want to know more about what causes great webinar conversions, down below, there's a link to my free five pillars of webinars that convert. This is a workbook and five short videos that will show you how to get started with webinars and will pinpoint exactly what you need to fix to get your webinar converting better. Or if you're building your webinar from scratch, it'll show you exactly how to build it so that you have the highest converting webinar possible. If you have a webinar going and it's not converting the way that you want and you want me to take a look at it, there's a link down below for a webinar audit as well. And last but not least, if you know that webinars are the key to the growth in your business that you want, and you want me to sit down with you and help you build it from scratch, we'll sit down, we'll build the webinar, we'll build the entire deck. I'll give you speech coaching on how to present it for maximum conversion. We'll also build your funnel, your landing page, and your follow-up sequence, you can click down below to schedule a short call with me and we'll see how we could work together. Before we go, make sure to hit that subscribe and like button so you see all the videos that I put out so that you can have a maximum converting webinar. Till next time, take action, change lives, and make money. We'll see you soon.